Hello, everybody. <sighs> this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 5. Um, I didn't get anything recorded today, reaction-wise, because as soon as my dad left with my nephew, I was like, I want to go back to sleep. And I tried to. I actually tried to. And I sadly wasn't able to get anything recorded today, but I did get a couple of re get a review done at least. And um, yeah, this episode was just very tense. I didn't know what was going to end up happening, but yeah, things have settled down at least in within the walls. So uh. Here is, I guess you could say, the summarized version of what happened. Uh, they essentially accused Aaron of keeping Aaron for the own sole use of the scouts, and I'm like, how else was he supposed? They were supposed to use Aaron. How was anybody supposed to use Aaron? And besides, they weren't planning on using it for their own gain, because obviously he would go fight Titans, but he would also plan on going to plug Walmaria with the hardening ability. Which would benefit everybody in the long run, not just the scouts. Yes, it would benefit the scouts, but it would also benefit humanity, because then everybody could go back into Walmaria and try and clean up and try and live normal lives again. Whenever that ends up happening, we don't know yet. But, uh, in order to prove whether these people were actually, actually, you know, gave a damn about humanity, or if they were only doing their own self-interest thing, a, uh, one of the military, uh, survey corps, whatever you want to, heck you want to call them, the interior police, ran in and said that the armor titan had essentially broken through Wall Cena and now refugees were starting to flood in from Wall Rose. Uh, if they actually did give a damn about that, they would have let a good number of the refugees in, if not all of them, and, did, and done their best to try and, you know, make the best of the situation. But no, they decided that it was best to close the gates and not uh, any of the refugees in, which would probably have killed off at least, I'm assuming, probably at least half the popu human half of humanity, if not all of it, or not all of it, half of it, or at least like 60% of it. Because a good large number of people were already in Walmaria, Wal Rose from Walmaria, and only like the filthy rich and everything and all that were in Wal Cena, so... At least half of the pop half of humanity would have died if that actually was the case because they would have all gotten eaten. So because of this, they ended up showing their true colors and Pixis and the other guy, I can't remember it started with a Z. They essentially went against the nobles and the fake king. By essentially claiming that yes, this was a farce, and we did it to prove whether you guys actually cared about humanity's best interests or your own self-interests. Thankfully, this ended up being a bloodless coup, just like Erevin wanted. So now, the false king has been deposed, the others are probably in, ja in the jail cells right now. And I keep on hitting this stupid thing, I'm sorry. And now, the military has control over the capital and uh, essentially the cities at this point, but it's obviously not going to be a military rule. They're still going to try and find an actual heir to the throne, aka Historia, and put her on the throne. And thankfully, this ends up getting back to, Le to Levi and them, because Hanji and the other guy, whatever his name is, ended up meeting up with them and gave them the good news. Now... They have to find, still find Aaron and Historia because they are still in danger. As for what's going to happen, uh, we will see.
anyway, Aaron finally comes to, after being unconscious for God only knows how long. And he's in some kind of crystallized cavern. And he's chained to a cliff. So, yeah, um, what's going to end up happening would not be good if it actually ends up happening. Which is, well, a titan eating Aaron and gaining back the power that he has. Because the power that he has was stolen. By who, we will find out next episode. Anyway, if you guys found this channel through this show or any of the other shows that I've been doing and you're new, welcome to the channel. And if you like the content that I'm putting out, then I would recommend subscribing and hitting the notification bell because then you get at least three emails from me from my channel a day at most. Because, yeah, stupid no stupid YouTube doesn't do more than three notifications. Though it kind of makes sense, considering if I was to upload a ton of videos, like ten videos, you would get ten emails from me, which is a lot. But I am so very happy that I have over 900 subscribers, and I, am, I have less than 100 subscribers to go before I hit 1,000. So to who, all those people, all the people that have subscribed, I really do thank you guys for actually in subscribing and enjoying my content and as for what I'm going to do for my thousand subscriber milestone it'd be great if I could hit it this year I don't know when but if I could oh God. if I hit a thousand mile <sighs> sorry I am always tired if I hit a thousand subscribers in the future, whenever that happens, I will pick up Goblin Slayer. Oh god, that first episode's gonna be freaking traumatizing, because, uh, for those of you probably, I think I already mentioned this one at a time, but I do not like watching scenes involving rape. I really don't like it. And... From what I've heard, the first episode is infamous for this. At the very least, part of it. Whether that's in other episodes in the show, I do not know. That is part of the reason why I'm putting Fushiji Yugi on the back burner, because there is at least one other scene in the show that has a possible, possible, at least implying rape. And I don't like that. So that's why I'm putting that one on the back burner, and that's kind of why I've been kind of iffy on picking Goblin Slayer up, because of the infamous first episode. But if I can get there, I will pick it up. I am, I will not go back on my word. If I have gone back on my word, I apologize in the past on stuff, but more than likely I had a good reason. I just don't know if I, what it was. <laughs> anyway... Um, yeah. I don't know how long my days are going to be like this, where I'm not going to be able to do much recording. But I will try to make the most of it, regardless. Anyway, I hope to see you guys next time.